Good, happy noon everybody and welcome back to Recycle. Can I recycle that? Uh, this is Bruce Bratley, I'm the CEO and founder of First Mile. We are a recycling business based in London and Birmingham and we are helping you recycle everything. If your first time is today on Can I Recycle That? This is a Facebook live broadcast. We'll be here for about 20 minutes busting those recycling myths and helping you recycle as much as possible and answering all of your questions. We've had heaps of questions this week, which is fantastic and uh, looking forward to answering them. So let's get on. The first one is um, from Mrs. Iran. Uh, thank you. And uh, she wants to know what all the little numbers in the, on plastics mean, how many are there and um, which ones can be recycled. The seven main numbers, and if you aren't familiar, uh, you might not be because manufacturers are very good at hiding them. Um, there's a little triangle printed into the bottom of, you won't see it there, printed into the bottom of plastic items with a number in the middle. Incredibly difficult to uh, see often and sometimes not printed that well. The numbers that we're looking for is actually seven um, different numbers. Um, that in itself is misleading because number seven is a category called other plastics. Um, but the main numbers that we're looking for for recycling at home and in the office is number one, which is PET bottles. And here I've got one, which is the classic clear plastic Coca-Cola bottle type material often used for drinks. Um, that's PET. We're looking for those, and that's the number one in the triangle in the, in the, in the middle. Um, the second one we're looking for is number two, the symbol number two, and again, uh, stamped in the bottom there. You might just see that on live. Number two in there, in the triangle there, and that is a plastic called uh, high-density polyethylene, or HDPE, most commonly found in milk bottles, that sort of cloudy color plastic, highly recyclable. Also, another example of HDPE, which is sort of often forgotten, is um, lots of shampoo bottles are HDPE. So check those out, same thing printed on the bottom, you can recycle those. And the final of the three, so we've got number one PET, number two HDPE, and the final one is polypropylene, which is PP, and this is a number five uh, printed on the bottom. Typically, yogurt pots are slightly um, uh, harder plastic, but polypropylene, my favorite plastic, it's got loads and loads of uses um, from little yogurt pots right up to car bumpers and building materials. So those are the three misses around that you need to um, recycle. Hopefully uh, that's uh, cleared that one up. So it's Easter, if you missed it. This weekend was uh, Easter and uh, manufacturers of chocolate produce lots of these things. and. Um, Question is, can I or what can I recycle from an uh, Easter egg? I'm pleased to say that manufacturers have started to remove plastic from Easter eggs and they're mainly now just cardboard, cardboard and a bit of aluminium foil. For, so all of this box here, my Quality Street box here is just cardboard. It's got nice fibre in it so that can just go into your cardboard recycling uh, bin at home. Make sure you flat pack it so it's easier for our wonderful overworked bin operatives at the moment. And then the other component you normally get with an Easter egg is uh, the aluminium foil. And that is uh, again, super recyclable, very, very recyclable. Um, the difficulty with recycling this is um, it, it's sort of light and, and blows away and gets lost often in the sorting process. So you can either put it in the recycling and hope for the best, or if you want to be a super good recycler, Scrunch it in a into, a, into a tiny little ball, um, like this. Get a can, but make sure it's aluminium, not steel, and you can do that by checking on the side. AL means aluminium, and then popping it inside there. I've made my ball too big. Um, and then it'll all get recycled together. Aluminium, aluminium can be recycled forever. Uh, it's a wonderful material, and Recycling, it saves 95% of the energy of using virgin aluminium, so really important to recycle that. So, um, super duper. So, right, can I recycle disposable razors? Um, and uh, uh, this is from Mawa. Um, can I recycle disposable razors um, and toothbrushes? So, 
Um, the answer is not re uh, disposable razors. They need to go uh, just in the general waste bin, please. Um, so dispose of those that way. They can't be recycled because of the blade in them. Toothbrushes, there are some specialist recyclers out there who are now taking uh, bathroom material back and can be recycled. First mile, you can do it through our recycle box service. And there's another wonderful company called TerraCycle. You can check out their website. He'll take those back as well. Um, Ems Wilden is similar vein um, bathroom equipment, uh, squeezy makeup tubes and uh, toothpaste tubes. Um, makeup tubes and toothpaste tubes are two types of material. Um, and increasingly, toothpaste always used to be an aluminium tube with a plastic cap. Um, and we moved to plastic tubes, but quite a few manufacturers now are going back to aluminium because they're trying to reduce their plastic footprint. If it's an aluminium tube, it can be recycled in your, in your normal mixed recycling and it'll go with the cans and the foil as a aluminium uh, material for recycling. If it's a plastic tube, makeup or toothpaste, again, it can't go in your normal recycling, but there's some specialist recyclers out there who can um, collect that and take it back for you. Again, first mile, recyclebox.co.uk has got a service and TerraCycle also, so you might also find your local council has it, but also check out um, dental practices. They often take uh, um, uh, TP brushes and other materials back when we get out of lockdown, um, and also some uh, supermarkets and local authority sites might take them. Um, can I recycle um, the tops of um, uh, these things, triggers of cleaning products, um, or I don't have one here, the pumps of uh, soap pump, um, can you recycle those? The answer is they can't be recycled in your regular recycling stream, so you'd have to remove the top and the body, the main bottle can be recycled um, with your, obviously when it's empty, in your normal recycling. But the trigger is made up of a metal spring and about five different types of plastic and different components and they can't be recycled in the tube as well. However, at the moment, there's a global shortage of these triggers and pumps and certain caps because of the corona outbreak. And obviously there's a huge demand for, in the NHS and homes and businesses, for cleaning products. So we're short of triggers and pumps. We've teamed up with a um, cleaning product manufacturer called Delphis, uh, and we're offering a take back service where you can send these back to us for free and we'll get them cleaned up and put back into uh, cleaning products to ease up that supply chain. So if you have any of these pumps and triggers, don't throw them away. Check out First Mile's website. We'll post details on here afterwards. Um, and um, we will get those repurposed and back into the supply chain to keep everybody's homes and hospitals um, nice and clean. So really important, that one. Can I recycle yogurt pots? It's coming in from Emma. Yes, this is a yogurt pot um, and it's uh, poppy, uh, uh, number five, polypropylene, we talked about it earlier, totally recyclable. Again, um, that might have a plastic or an aluminium uh, seal, take those off. And um, if it's aluminium recycling, if it's a uh, two dimensional plastic film that can't be recycled, scrape it out. This one's been washed, you don't need to wash it out, scrape it out as long as there's no food in there, perfectly recyclable. Um, how do you recycle um, boxes with pre made sandwiches in them? You probably haven't seen one of these for a while if you haven't been uh, at work, but when we're at work or if we're out um, or um, in town, I uh, often buy a sandwich in a, um, in a sort of a triangle pre-made. Um, the cardboard element of that can go in the normal mixed recycling. There is a thin plastic film on it, um, but that doesn't cause a problem for cardboard recyclers because that comes out when the pulp is filtered as part of the recycling process. But if you can tear out the plastic window, that would be great and put that in the residual waste. And if you notice now, the uh, makers of sandwich triangles are increasingly making their um, uh, packaging so it comes apart by hand and is much easier to take, take it apart to recycle it. So the cardboard element of the triangle can be recycled, but not the plastic window. Um, so here we go. Susanna, um, should I remove the plastic coating inside a tissue box? Quite interesting, there's been quite a lot of questions around the the sort of um, uh, composite nature of materials and how manufacturers are putting multiple materials 
together, starting with the Easter egg and going through their various things. So um, I think this is the um, where you have um, a, a large box of tissues and there's sort of like a, a dispenser plastic bit that stops all the tissues coming out at once. Um, and there's two answers to this. If you're a super recycler, which we hope you are, tear out the plastic piece so that the recycler gets a nice clean cardboard box to recycle. Uh, but if it's, um, uh, and then that makes the recycling process more efficient and uh, easier, but a bit like the sandwich um, coating, the plastic coating in a sandwich wrapper, it doesn't matter if a small amount of plastic goes in with the cardboard and it's not the end of the world, but ideally we want it to be as clean as possible and where it can be removed, it would be better to remove it. Obviously a sandwich wrapper, you can't actually, it's bonded, the plastic is bonded to the fibre, so you can't remove it. But where it's possible to remove it, either a sandwich window, or in this case, a seal around a tissue box is really super helpful for recycling um, and it makes the recycling process lower impact. So really helpful for the planet as well. Can nappies be recycled? This is from uh, Mrs. Fash and apologies. Um, Mrs. Fash asked if eco nappies can be recycled, but I'm not sure. There's lots of uh, categories of eco nappies from rewashable ones to bamboo, uh, nappies made out of bamboo fibre. So I'm just going to answer generically, which is nappies cannot be recycled in your general waste, uh, sorry, in your uh, mixed recycling at home, and they need to go in your general waste stream for incineration or landfill. So please don't put them into um, your recycling stream. There are, however, some local council schemes. Um, there's quite a big one that operates in Wales, Mrs. Fashby based in Wales, called Nappy, Nappy Cycle, N-A-P-P-I Cycle. Um, and the council there collect nappies and they recycle them into material for composting um, and uh, they recover some of the fibre for a low grade fibre use and it's um, uh, um, sanitised before it goes back into being used for fibre. So there are some limited schemes out there, but generally, unless there's a scheme in your area, uh, please put the nappy in your residual waste um, uh, if it is a disposable nappy. Um, can Susie now is asking if she can uh, recycle the metal cage outside champagne bottles. Excellent, we had this one last week as well. So unfortunately I have no champagne. Um, but I've got a wine bottle here um, in my props, which has um, got the similar sort of thing. It's got, this is a screw top, aluminium top, aluminium uh, collar on the, on the wine bottle. If it was a champagne uh, bottle, it would have a, a cork and then a, a cage over the top, the aluminium cage. The uh, wire's aluminium, the um, collar and cap, nearly always aluminium used uh, in the wine industry and uh, they can go straight in with the uh, glass. They will be recovered and that aluminium will be recycled as part of the um, glass recycling process. Um, and uh, the glass industry recycles um, enough aluminium um, to make 100 jumbo jet aeroplanes, about 6,000 tonnes every year. So they're very good at extracting and recycling aluminium as part of their process. So it's no problem. Check it in with the glass, absolutely fine. Obviously, if you want to take it out and, and put it in with your cans, you can also do that. If you end up with a, a glass jar with a larger lid, um, if you put it in with the glass, it will be recycled in the same way. But where it's a larger lid like that, that will be recovered no problem through the recycling process, the normal recycling process. So you could separate those two, put this with metals, this with glass, um, if uh, you prefer. So, for the larger items. Um, so, we now have a question about pet food packets, what to do with them. Um, we had this one uh, last week as well, and um, I realised later that there's probably two types of pet food. I have one here from our dogs, um, and this is a cube, which is um, a Tetra pack, um, which is a composite of aluminium, paper and plastic. These, when empty, can be recycled. Um, some councils take them in their mixed recycling, but not that many. So just check if your council takes them. If, they don't, if, if they're not taking them, again, the specialist services, first mile operate one with um, the uh, a company called ACE, who's the trade association for Tetra Pak. There are also, I don't have one here, but there's also um, pouches that you can also get, things like Ella's baby food and 
uh, sort of pre 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 made rice and and beans in. If it's a, it's a, if it's the more flexible plasticized pouch for pet food. There are also schemes um, for recycling those materials and they're just a composite, they've got no fibre in them, they're just a composite of plastic and aluminium and it is possible to recycle those but again you need to go through a um, specific stream and I'm pretty certain that um, TerraCycle run one with Mars who own the Pedigree brand so if you check out either Pedigree or Mars um, you should be able to uh, uh, find um, an answer to that and that was from Bat Faced Girl so I hope you get your um, answer there so thank you very much. Um, we are now coming up a um, question from Georgina um, which is can mugs be recycled um, and this is a easy no. Um, mugs are either made from porcelain or they're made from uh, china clay um, and at the moment nobody takes those in the mixed recycling stream so either glue it together, keep using it, upcycle it, give it to a friend or unfortunately it will need to go into the residual waste bin. So thanks for that one Georgina. Sophie in Acton would like to know um, what should I do with compostable uh, plates and cups? Um, compostables are a relatively new um, product category um, for recyclers to deal with and manage and there's actually been a huge amount of confusion around what is compostable and what isn't compostable and maybe we'll dedicate one of these sessions entirely to uh, compostables in the future so do send compostable questions. Um, and um, this question seems from Sophia about plates and cups is um, if there's a sort of a compostable item that's um, either a coffee cup um, or a plate where it's um, a fibre base and then with a, instead of having a plastic coating it has a, something like a PLA which is a, um, a um, bioplastics which degrades down. Now technically um, you could compost them at home but for these plastics compostables to break down you need very specific heat requirements um, in your compost heap and you need to break up the material with a shredder or a macerator so probably it would be difficult to compost at home even though that might be the claim. The best thing you can do is to send it back to First Mile, we have a recycle box service for this and we can get it uh, um, recycled in an in-vessel composter. Um, an anaerobic digester which will break it down into um, fibres um, and a compost material for uh, the land as well as generating energy. So hopefully that helps with that one. We've just now got time for one last question which is from Apprentice Electrician. Uh, his question is what to do with LDPE film which is uh, number four in the recycling symbol and LDP is low density polyethylene film. I don't have any here but the way to find out if it's LDP film is it, I've got high, I've got HDP film here which is high density. Low density film is silent when you scrunch it. This is high density that can't be recycled at the moment. It's a low grade type of plastic. Often supermarket bags are made out of that. If you go for LDP film, it's silent or much less noisy when you uh, scrunch it together. It's a higher grade film and it can be recycled. Um, you can put it in the Flexi Plastics um, uh, bag from First Mile. Check your local councils. Some of them say they take plastic films, others don't. If they do take a plastic film, they're looking for LDPE, not HDPE. So if it's a nice silent uh, uh, film, um, that's the one to go for. So that's it. It was great to see so many of you on um, Can I Recycle That? My name is Bruce. Um, I set up and run a business called First Mile and we're here to help you with your recycling questions. We'll be back 12 o'clock next Wednesday for another session and hope to see you there. Bye bye.